Okay, so question number two. At 25 degrees Celsius and 795 Tor, carbon dioxide has a solubility of 0 0.0356 moles per liter in water. What is its solubility at 25 degrees Celsius and 1850 Tor? So to answer this question, we are going to use Henry's Law. So Henry's Law is a pretty simple equation. It is S is equal to K times P. So in this case, S refers to solubility. K will be referred to as Henry's law constant. So this k value isn't an actual value, like it varies depending on uh, the temperature and also depending on the type of substance we have. And p is just pressure. Okay, so step one of answering this question is to calculate for your Henry's Law constant. At 25 degrees Celsius. So given in the question we know that the solubility was 0 0.0356 moles per liter. And we're trying to solve for K. And it has this solubility at 795 Tor. So now we just have to solve for K. So 700, oh, so 0 0.0356 moles per liter divided by 795 Tor gives us a K value of 4.478 times 10 to the negative 5. And the units is moles per liter divided by Tor. Okay, so we have our K value at 25 degrees Celsius for carbon dioxide. So now we can find our molar solubility at 1850 Tor. And again, we're going to use Henry's Law. S is equal to K, which we found in the previous step was 4.478 times 10 to the negative 5 moles per liter over Tor. And the pressure this time is 1850 Tor. So if we multiply these two, you end up with a molar solubility of 0 0.0828 moles per liter. Okay, so now let's see what the junior tutor said. The relationship between pressure and solubility of a gas at a specific temperature is shown in Henry's Law. So they have C equals Kp where C is the solubility of the gas in terms of the molar concentration, P is the external pressure, and K is Henry's constant, which is different for every substance at different temperatures. 
Determine Henry's constant based on the first given conditions. Okay, so they have C is equal to A times 795 Tor. And they got a K value of around 4.5 times 10 to the negative 5. Yep. And now they computed for the solubility in the second condition given. Use the computed value of Henry's constant. So they just plugged in their K value and ended up with the same solubility around 0.083 moles per liter. So the solution is correct. Thank you.